Hello, this is Just a Dad. I'm going to do a review on the Sony DS, or it's the RX 10 III. They've got a four out, but um, this one, the it seems just as good as the four. So I keep this with me at all times. It's it's compact, it's expensive, but it takes really good pictures. But the, for the most part, I'm an amateur photographer, very, very amateur. Uh, just now getting into the other settings, but this typical Sony is good at taking pictures in auto. And so that's why I really like this. It's just a grab and go camera. You don't have to think about a whole lot, just grab it and go, but it has amazing zoom. So I take pictures of airplanes. I, um, I take a lot of photos of airplanes with this. So some of the things that I've got to watch out for is so this setting sometimes will get off and then my pictures are light or dark also this right here see it's already it's already it's on continuous this is your focus and that's single or continuous but sometimes getting it in and out of the bag i've, I've found it in manual focus and then your pictures aren't turning out and so i always constantly have to check that i've got this hand strap it's not necessarily for putting in my hand around it it's mainly just to, so this is how I typically carry my camera you know I'm holding on to a strap it just seems like it's easier to hold on to it's more secure than trying to do this so when I'm now what I did do what I did find I take a lot of movies so this is the movie button but I went into the settings and I changed the movie button to C1 so that now when I press a movie um, when I want to start a movie, it's just less jerky when I want to do that. Steady she takes 4K, takes really good 4K video. And like I said, the zoom is just out of this world. And you can see it really zooms out, but it's not too heavy. You know, I find I can hold this thing steady pretty good, taking a video of an airplane really far away. And then the, the zoom is pretty pretty quick. So I use the basic functions. I don't get into all the the details and the nitty gritty and it, and all of that. Like I said, just just some basic. So it's got the micro SD card or no SD card, but you can use micro SD cards with an adapter. But that's one complaint I do have with this. So sometimes I have all, my fingers are bigger. Sometimes I have a hard time really grabbing. It's like, why wouldn't they make that just a little better? But I use 128. It takes a long time for it to fill up. It only has one slot. But I, I religiously use these dongles. So I've got the software for Sony. And transferring it from the Sony to your phone, it, it's it's just convoluted. I don't, I don't try it at all. So these dongles, they make ones for iPhones too, but this is for an Android. And just absolutely love them especially with an android phone you, you throw your card in there you, you plug it in you go to your file system just a file folder on your android phone and you just copy uh the videos and the everything right over into your camera roll into your dcm dcim folder and everything backs up just so quick and easy I, I can't explain that enough that's why i love it i mean i can take a picture really far away a video of an airplane and i can have it on youtube I can have it on my Facebook page in just a matter of however long it takes to transfer the file and upload it. And then the batteries. you got to have some spare batteries. These batteries, you know, I imagine if you got all Sony batteries, but I typically buy these cheaper ones on Amazon. They, they seem to do just fine. This is a charger from Amazon that came with two batteries. I like it because it has its own cable built in. So if you don't have a cable, but you can just plug it in. Or if you do have a cable, it's micro USB-C, you can just plug it in. And this, this, this power extra just seems to work really well. Um, I did buy some of these lithium ion batteries, these blue ones. These things were just junk. This RAV power, I, I don't know. This power extra, they just seem to work. So it's got a battery door here. It pops open, you can click that, the battery opens up. It's opposite of what you think. You always think the battery is gonna go in this way, but it goes towards the outside. 
like I said, there, I only have one Sony battery. So maybe if I had Sony batteries, they might last longer. And this, these are all probably two years old, but I keep four or five charged and I'm just always ready to go. And I love this bag I bought. It was, it's off Amazon, it's super cheap. But what I love about it is it's just the right size. It just fits the camera, you zip it. Um, I keep my batteries right here along with the this and the charger you know zip it up I, um, and then I got the strap here I hardly ever use the strap and I do keep a external which GoPro had a pause but they don't so I do um, have an external microphone which I've started using all my videos because wind noise is a problem this thing if you're in a windy environment you're gonna hear the wind a lot so this fits on the hot shoe but I did have to buy a different cord so this is the cheaper boy yeah I looked at the reviews and it, it just got really good reviews but I bought a different cord with uh, two right angles so it does have you know a spot for it to go yeah you plug it into the red and then there so but when you're taking videos I take videos a lot and I'm using the viewfinder a lot because it's it's kind of hard to use that so this typically hits my head it's not in the best area I'm, I'm actually gonna think of a way maybe to put the the microphone off to the side maybe I'm not sure but I might try something different maybe I can come up over here but uh, the viewfinder is really good like I said I just really like it I've had this thing I think going on two years now uh, I looked at the specs like I said the four that's out it's something to do with phase uh, focus which I do find once in a great while this thing will have a hard time focusing but you know man but it is expensive you know i picked this one up on ebay for 800 bucks i think going brand new they're like 1200,000. so you can get a really nice uh interchangeable lens camera and everything but boy this thing just is super nice to have it because it's all getting the picture if you don't have the camera you can see the best scenery the best airplane but if you don't have the camera with you uh, you're not going to get the picture and i've just gotten some really really nice pictures with this and some great videos so there you have it just like i said a quick simple um review it's just the basics guys i just use cameras for the basics i don't go into great details of all the settings and everything you know it's a sony it's gonna have settings and menus and it's you know it's gonna have a book i printed the book off for it and it must be that thick um but i just i'm gonna learn all that eventually but it's nice just to, it's just fun to get out there and take pictures so Again, I appreciate you looking at my videos. This is Just a Dad. Um, I've started a web channel. And please subscribe and like. Thank you.